Yet another cold cathode driver. I got quite a few off eBay, just to take a look at all the different types. And this one's quite interesting because it's designed for laptops, so it's really, really small. And I wondered, you know, what sort of length of tube it could drive. So I've had to nick a connector off another one. And I've had to Judy rig a power supply into this, a 12 volt supply. Now, it's worth noting that, um, once again, this has four connections. They're mounted at the end, and it's just solder pads. Fairly big solder pad, big one, and then a slightly smaller one, a smaller one. And if you look at the back, um, and just for reference, I'll just write it on here. It says V in, and that's the positive. On, that's the equivalent of enable. Adjust. And ground. So that's the negative supply, and... Once again, if you connect a just straight to negative, it brings it on at full output. The um, on, again, I think it's designed for 5 volts, but I bridged it straight to uh, the 12 volt supply. And I measured the current uh, that was flowing into it, and it's only about 100 microamps. Uh, that doesn't guarantee it's an ideal way of driving it, but it certainly seems to work to bring the unit on. And it's the simplest way to bring the unit on. So. That's what I've done here. I've basically got the two connections there bridged to positive and the two connections there bridged to negative and I've just put a little jack uh, connector onto it. So um, let's uh, plug this in and put a neon tube in it to see just what it can drive. So this is a neon tube. It's two feet of neon. So let's uh, plug that into the lead and power it up. And that's not bad at all intensity wise, it's, it's quite reasonable. Uh, again, it would only really be suitable for sort of decorative indoor type neon effects, but it's, it's really quite a visible, visible intensity, it's really not too bad at all. So um, let's uh, try it with an argon mercury tube. And this time I've got a longer tube, shaped rather stylishly like a moon. And this one is three and a half feet of 12 millimeter tubing, I think it is. And it's filled with uh, argon gas and a drop of mercury. So I'll just plug this in. And it doesn't seem to have any problem with that. So let's see uh, if I can go any further and see if it's... Uh, I can upset it or blow it up. At the moment, uh, with this three and a half feet of tube, the power supply is showing, 12 volt supply, is showing just over 400 milliamps. Then really surprised at getting that out, such a tiny little inverter here, and everything's just running stone cold. So now I'm going to bridge that to there. That to there, I put the two tubes in the series and we'll see if it actually deals with that. Okay, it's just gone into standby mode. Let's see if it resets again. It may be that this is too high an open circuit voltage, the load's too. No, it doesn't like uh, it doesn't like driving uh, two tubes, but that's quite a high voltage right enough that uh there. But um I suppose three and a half feet uh, is actually quite a good length, especially given the size of it. It's really tiny. You could almost put that in the end of a, a stick of neon. It's, it's quite neat. Oh, and again, it's just based on a standard switch mode style chip and two MOSFET packages being used to push-pull um, a primary with its uh, positive uh, center tap connector positive and the two outer windings being pulled alternately to negative. Um, so it's, it's a neat little thing.